Hi everybody, it's Nani. How are you doing today? I am really good. I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. They are finally coming out with fall type items in my stores. It seems like my stores have been really behind on the fall items. I don't know how you can really even say behind when it's only August, the beginning of August, but it is what it is, but they're finally bringing things out. So I'm hoping I can find some of the cool things that I have seen other people hauling. But did you guys see what was in my thumbnail? They have all of these, I guess they're called garden steaks. What, yep, garden steaks. I think that's what they both are. And I just think they are gorgeous. I'm gonna show this one first. Let me put this one on my lap. Isn't that so pretty? This was the only one I found. That is it. I don't know if there are other colors out there. I have no idea. There were no other ones like this. This was it. So I grabbed it, but I thought it would be really pretty. You could even take it off the steak and use it for something else, not just as a garden steak, which I will be, I'm on the hunt for a second one. I have two flower pots on my front steps, on the front porch, and I think that would be really pretty in there. It is just gorgeous. I may have to help the little raffia bow here a little bit before I put it out, but it has little silver maple leaves on it. The, the texture design is just so, so pretty. So I grabbed that one, hoping to find another in this same rusty color because I just think that is so pretty. Super long steak as well. And then they had, set this on my lap, they had this style. And it has the little kind of bronzy, blacky looking leaves on this one. It's the silver, like galvanized, I guess you call it, with this wooden plaque on the front. This one says thankful. I have no idea if there is one that says blessed, but there's also one, sorry guys, trying to pick it up, that says grateful. But as you can see, when I they put it in the bag, the plaque was on it. When I pulled it out of the bag, the plaque just came right off. So I actually like that idea because now I can stick these in it. I just dropped the one on the ground here. I can put these in my flower pots as well without the sign because the little signage, what it's made out of, it doesn't weather very well. If this gets rained on, it it doesn't stay nice for very long. So I may use this for something else. You can see how it's just glue. That's glue on the back there. So yeah, but I think they're just stunning. And I don't know, usually when it says grateful, thankful, there's usually a third that says blessed. There was not one of those in my store. So call it my store. It's the one I go to usually, but I just think they're so, so pretty. And like I said, take the stakes off and you can use them for other things. Use them as a, in the center of a wreath, whatever you may want, but they're so pretty. So let me get these out of the way. That's why I showed those first so I could get them off my table. Sticking with the fall theme, picked up these let me get this out of here. They had these little buckets, and for some reason, I'm thinking these were from last year. You guys tell me that. I did not pick these up last year, but I believe I remember seeing them there. This one is kind of the gray and orange buffalo check. I don't know what you call that. And it says grateful and blessed on it, and it's the silver galvanized. And then this one says gather, and it's the gray and white check with the little orange pumpkin on it. I was saying in one of my previous hauls that I'm kind of over the whole wordage on things, but these were just really cute. So I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with these yet, but I will find something. And there's no holes or anything on the bottom. This one does have, oh, they both do. They say it on both sides. So really pretty. And then I got, um, I think I showed it in one of my last hauls, I got a white planter, the white farmhouse looking to make an arrangement in and picked up a thing of the styrofoam to do that with. I pick this stuff quite often. It just comes in handy for making different crafts and 
flower arrangements, that type of thing. So grab that. And then they had these and they had ones in orange as well, but I believe there are other colors in this. And it's kind of a little shelf sitter, very heavy, made out of that cement or whatever it is. And this one says, be blessed, be thankful. So I grabbed one of those. Cute. Has the little green leaves on the top. And you know what, guys? I didn't put my mic on. So I'm going to have to play with the volume on this video. If the volume is wonky, I apologize sincerely. Didn't think about it till right now. So I picked up just one of those. And then they had all of these really cute pumpkins. These are the little stuffed pumpkins, almost made out of like a, um, oh, like a flannel. So pretty. And apparently these flew out of the box because there were only these, these three, which I do like to decorate in threes. So I grabbed all three of them. And these are the like brown flannel check with some orange and tan and the stem. And then they have these little jute cord with beads and they all say thankful, I think. Let me check here. Yes, these ones all say thankful. So I don't know if whatever else was in the box, if maybe they say something else, I don't know. But I just thought they were really pretty and you can always take this off if you don't want the little jute cord on there, use it for something else. They're just pretty. I'm really leaning toward the browns and oranges in that pretty, pretty blue color that they're coming out with this year. So I'm kind of curious to see how I decorate because I don't know yet. It's too far away for me to even think about. All right, let me see now. That was it for the fall stuff that I found so far. So this is just a kind of randomness now. Needed some bug killer. This is the ant and roach killer. Kills on contact is my kill zone. And I don't really like to kill bugs very often. So I don't pick this up a lot, but I don't know if you guys have ever seen them. I did not until recently. They are these gigantic, look like wasps on steroids. And I believe they're called cicada killers. We have a nest somewhere outside. We can't find it yet, we're on the hunt. So I picked this up just to have in case we find the nest of these things. They're constantly flying around our garage. Hubby has seen them inside the garage and he just kind of swats them out, but they are ugly and big and nasty looking. And I just, we need to get them gone somehow because I don't want them around when the, the kids are here. So that's why I picked this up. And yes, I do not like to kill bugs unless I absolutely have to. And this to me is a have to. So please don't get on me for that. Boring, grab some of this plastic wrap. I think I showed it in one of my last hauls. I grabbed the, um like the cling wrap, the name brand. I think it was Glad. Grabbed some of that, but I grabbed this as well, just to have it on hand. The holidays are right around the corner and I wanna be stocked up on this kind of stuff. And this works well. I don't have a problem with this at all. All plastic wrap gives me issues. So I just grabbed one of these and it's by Shorefresh and it's 80 square feet. So grabbed just the thingy of that. It works well. Let me see, what now? I showed the bug thing. We had these this time, and I thought this is an excellent deal. It's getting really dark for some reason, but this is by the company Ready In Case. You get 100 caplets, pain reliever, acetaminophen, 500 milligrams, compared to the active ingredients in Tylenol Extra Strength. 100 caplets. We did pick up some Equate brand from Walmart, much, I think it was only a 40 tablet thing. And honestly, I can't remember how much it costs, but this was a way better deal. And I do buy this type of thing from the Dollar Tree all the time for years. And I have never had a problem. So grabbed one of these. I thought that was an excellent value, a hundred. So grabbed that. And then I saw this in the baby section and thought it was so cute. 
it's the little sippy bottle and it is pink fong whatever that is must be the company and it's baby shark and this is by nickelodeon and it has the little straw that pops up the sippy part and then the straw i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that but there, there is a straw on the inside so pick this up for the littlest one has the little finger grip right here grab this for her i thought that was super cute she loves those type of those type of sippy cup bottles right now. So saw it and thought it was cute. And that was the only style of these I saw, just the blue lid with the baby shark on it. I don't know if they have others or not. I have no clue, but really cute. And then I know I showed some of these in another haul. I found a different style. This is the Hanes, it's beyond tights. These are the footless tights and they had them in a large, which would fit me. And as you can see, they're almost like leggings. I thought that was really cool. I wanna see, I'm gonna open these because I really wanna see how, how thick they are, how, you know, could you wear them just as leggings or are they more pantyhose? They are super, well, I don't know. When you stretch far enough, you can see it does, but these, these are nice guys, wow. These would be great in the winter time if you're wearing a dress or a skirt and plan on wearing boots with it. So I just picked up one pair for myself. They're Hanes. I don't know if there's a price on these, an original price or not. I didn't even look. I don't see one anywhere, but I think that's a great deal. So I just grabbed one. Awesome. And then, guys, I found another thing of makeup removing wipes. I know I said this in a previous haul as well. I am on the hunt for a decent makeup removing wipe from the Dollar Tree. I just want to find one and find one that takes off my makeup. You know, when I'm out traveling, if I don't, you know, in the evening or whatever and don't have access to wash my face the way I want to, which that never happens, but I want to have wipes to do it with. So I found these. These are by the Be Pure brand. That didn't make sense at all, did it? Anyway, the um, Be Pure brand, these are the makeup removing cleansing towelettes, 25 wipes. They're pre-moistened, of course, 7.4 inch by 7.2 inch. And it says effectively and gently removes makeup, even waterproof mascara. And oh, what does this compare to? Compared to Neutrogena Makeup Removing Cleansing Towelettes. Oh, I didn't even notice that so right now. So, I'm gonna be trying these and I will let you know what I think of them. I'm gonna smell them, because you guys know me with scents. Very, very light scent. Definitely not an overpowering scent, so I know those will work well for me. So if you guys have tried these, let me know what you think because I'm on the hunt. Bolero wipes really aren't makeup removing wipes. They are just to refresh your face, you know, quick wiping your face. I don't know if Bolero actually has a makeup removing wipe. If you guys know that, let me know. So anyway, I'm gonna try these. I have been using the Pawns from the Dollar Tree, which I don't see that brand in very many of my stores. So, and they're working well. It does take a little bit to get your makeup off, but they're working okay. They're not tugging my face. They're not pulling my eyelashes out. So I'm really curious to give these a try. So anyway, guys, that is it for this haul. Found some really cute things, I think. I'm not gonna pick up the yard stakes because they're down there, but really, really nice stuff coming out. So I'm on the hunt. I don't know why I have so much fall decor already, but you know how it is when you see something that's cute and new, it's like you just gotta have it. Anyway, if you guys like this type of thing, please subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.